Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I'm here today on uh, Mitz Patel. For those who haven't been and don't know where this is, this place is in Jerusalem. Um, I actually, when I did my video walking into Jabal Mukhaber a few weeks ago, I passed this and... Uh, we're going up here in order to check out the lupines, which are in bloom. And uh, this is a really nice spot. It can be accessed from both sides. But I'm accessing it from this side. Oh, the view from up here is incredible. So we're going to go see the flowers in a minute. But before that, we are facing east. This is a road that runs alongside it. Um, just to the north of Armon and Atsiv, which is the Jewish neighborhood. So this is where I was the last time, that kind of structure there up on the hilltop. Huge boulders up here, didn't expect that. Um, one of the trails, I'm not sure whether it's the Israel National Trail or the Jerusalem Trail, because there are different trail markers. The ones going up there were uh, red and white. So as I was saying, where we are looking here is this is facing eastward and you can see there, it's hopefully clear in the video, the separation barrier, that's the meandering grey concrete structure. This would be um, Augustus Victoria Hospital in the distance and facing east would be Jabal Mukaber. Um, that's what's beneath us. I'm going to go as far over as we can here. We can see more of the separation barrier. This is that big police station just before Jabba Mokaber. And uh, lots of people here up with their kids. It's pretty nicely laid out for, I guess, just walking. But you can see, this is the view I wanted to show because it's so interesting how close Jerusalem is to the desert. You can see the separation barrier. You can see actually the Minareva Mosque. You can see over the separation barrier and just a little bit past that, you can see the sand dunes of the Judean desert. And that desert continues towards the Dead Sea. The drive from Jerusalem to the Dead Sea takes you out through the north of the city. Then the road turns eastward. That's road number one. Then it transverses the Judean desert eventually passes by a sea level marker and then you get to uh, the lowest point on earth. So this is really how close, I mean, if I just continue, you can see this would be again looking, this is now looking south east, I'm guessing towards uh, Sur Bahar, which is another of the Palestinian neighborhoods. And there's also Um Tuba and there's also Har Choma, And then Har Choma is one of the ring neighborhoods of Jerusalem over the green line and then looping around towards Bethlehem even further off. So this is a really nice little hill. It really continues for some time. This building, because I've been into Jabba Mukaba recently, I know is actually already in the village. Uh, in fact, if we continue along this path, we're going to be getting into the village of uh, Jabba Mukaba, which is one of the Arab Palestinian neighborhoods um, of the city. This path goes on for a little while. Probably going to end pretty soon because we're coming up to somebody's property, it seems. But there you go. Look at those. Look at the desert. I mean, there's another like. The distances are probably deceptive. That might actually be a kilometer I'm looking at. Perhaps two, perhaps three, but in any event. And on a clear day, you can see into Jordan, which is really incredible. Right now, I think we're just seeing uh, into the start of the Judean desert. But when there's that kind of thin layer of cloud, but when that is not the case on a very clear day uh, from here and other places in Jerusalem, uh, you can see into the mountains just on the Jordanian side of the border, which is, of course, literally just... When you're at the Dead Sea, you're effectively on Israel's border with Jordan. As I'm a border fanatic, I must tell you that it's not a demarcated border, but I presume if you try to float across or whatever, uh, somebody would stop you at some point. 
So this is Mitzpah Tal. I didn't know this place existed until recently, but I'm guessing from the amount of people here that it's fairly popular with people living in Armon and Atsiv in the area. Today's a beautiful day. It's been, we've been having a cold snap recently. The winter in Jerusalem is usually not so severe. It's not so cold, it's not so wet. But now we've got back to sun. So this is why I'm confused by the trail markers because there's a few ones. This one is green and white. I've also seen blue and white and red and white. So I'm not quite sure what each of those uh, signifies. I was in such good shape until about a week ago. It's another amazing view. So this is a road that leads into Jabba Makabar. That's called Alar Street. You can see from here the police station a bit more clearly here. <laughs> this is the other side you can access it from, which would be the north side. You can see there's a trail leading up to the hill from there as well, marked out by uh, little stones and the tolerance monument is just a little bit up the road there. there's also actually a covid station there currently and you can see straight ahead the old city of jerusalem with the dome of the rock and these are more neighborhoods of east jerusalem below us here looking again eastward Just at the very top, you have uh, this huge antenna. It's actually marked on Google Maps. I have no idea what function this antenna serves. Presumably it's strategically positioned here because of the topography, super high and it's uh, fenced off. All around, there's a couple of these huts as well, which you can see down from on the road level so if you're looking for somewhere to bring your kids and uh, sit out and enjoy a picnic you can do so here there's also these super strange looking i believe it's a synagogue very very unusual looking buildings on this side and here are the flowers
Thanks very much for watching my video. This is uh, Mitz Patel. It's marked on Google Maps and it's located just a short drive whether you're coming from downtown Jerusalem or from uh, South Jerusalem. It's just about seven minutes as well. Really worth coming up here. Beautiful place. Come for a bit of outdoor time. Come to check out the amazing views over uh, East Jerusalem and all the way into the Judean desert in Jordan and come to check out the blooming flowers right now. Great up here.